Hey everyone, um, I'm in New Zealand with the uh, Britain Norman Tri Islander. And um, I'm at 6,000 feet right here. I just left uh, Auckland and I'm sort of heading south. And um, I had some troubles getting the engines to stay running. And um, I'm still not quite sure what I was doing wrong, but there, there was something wrong the line there. But anyway, you can see right here, um, let's get a little closer on this map and we'll take a look and see where I'm at. Let's see here. But it's going really good. I'm at 2200 RPMs. Okay, got 80% here on my RPM levers and um, Throttle, we're at 87 on throttle. So, uh, yeah, so this is like going perfect. I'm uh, right about 130. That's like almost ideal from what I understand with this plane. So, um, I got these uh, mixtures pulled back to just about 40%. And um, yeah, it looks good. I think I'm doing pretty good. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of concerned though how I couldn't keep my engines running. Um, what, and this was right before I was about to take off. Now, I, I did another video earlier, and um, I did my taxi, I started, everything was going good. And, all right, I was lined up to take off, and well, I lost one inch, then I lost another one. I'm like, man, I'm glad I wasn't, I'm glad I wasn't taking off at that point. I might post that video so you all can see what happened, but um, yeah, it, the plane here, I guess it's a little bit more study level than what I expected, but that's good. I like it, no problem. But um, yeah, so I'm going pretty good right now, and um, yeah, I expect to have a pretty good landing pretty soon, um, and um, yeah, good stuff. And um, I'm using live weather, live time, it was, when it was uh, 19 knots when it took off, so a little bit high there, 5.06 p.m. and July 27th in New Zealand. So um, we're just going to keep on cruising at 6,000 feet, and uh, I'll be here pretty shortly. All right, so um, I'm just going to keep on going. Yeah, I, I tell you what we're going to do. I mean, I'm not that far, so I was going to cut just now, but I think we're going to stay because um, you all probably going to want to see me land. So, yeah, let's go ahead and um, let's leave it on, and we'll, we'll see how the landing goes. You know, I can put my yoke back on. Um, right here and two. Yeah, I noticed something pretty cool. Look how, how all of that goes away. It's like you can, it can be configured for just one one pile. You see that? I, I've never saw that before. Most of the planes, they'll just have the yoke appear and disappear. But that, that's the first time I've seen that, okay? Everything's going good. There's no uh, fuel in these tanks here. They are all right here, um, left and right. I think that's the uh, trans. The uh, auxiliary TP tank. Yeah, I think it's got a TP tank. So I'm assuming since these don't have any fuel, I probably don't have to use a transfer pump or anything like that. Just go with what I got here. You know, no lights on. I don't have the gyro light. Maybe how it was last time I had that lit pretty much most of the time. You know, I do have this at anti ice at 60. You know, so I don't know. Um, if that's making a difference, but I'm thinking about starting troubles. Oh, we will. Yeah, I'm about to get lower. Is it just a flower break up here? Or? Yeah, okay, we're alright. We right. I want to try to maintain VFR, but I think um, that's a little bit pushing it, but I don't want to get too low. You know how sometimes in New Zealand they have some high mountains, but I don't think um, where I'm at, I don't think the mountains are too high. So, um, yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, it's going good. Let me see now exactly where, uh, I'm only 28 nautical miles away at this point. So I could probably start descending or uh, get ready to descend. Let's go down to, uh, we're going to go down to about 3,000, 3,200. How about that? Let's do 3,200. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna just come back on my throttles a little bit as we descend. Or maybe not. I'm just doing a shallow descent. I mean, I'm only going 500. 
feet a minute, so that that's good. I mean, they're not that high, you know. Well, five thousand feet, six thousand feet. So yeah, let, let's let's increase the rate of descent here. Let's do about eight hundred. I, I was climbing at about eight hundred. I don't know what the ideal rate of climb is for this plane, but eight hundred seemed to be pretty good. Now I'm planning to come in on runway ten. So up. And I don't know. I don't think it's a tower here. So yeah, let's. I'm gonna start getting down a little bit quicker and change my heading here. Almost to a south because the runway is kind of like getting lined up that way. And I might want to take a look at that as well. I gotta tell you what, it was really, really pretty out here. You know, when I was seeing Auckland after I took off, it was really, really even time. So where I'm going at, though, I don't think it's, it's going to be too many mountains or anything. Elevation gets a little bit higher over here, so... That's why I'm gonna stay in at least 3,000. I don't want to get down to 2,000 yet. You can see. I'm gonna be turning out towards more towards um, the east. So, down to 4,000 feet, so this is good. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and let's let it go to 32. We'll leave it there since um, uh, it's not going to take me too long. I mean, look, 20 miles, you know, 20 nautical miles. So let's zoom in a little bit more, and I'm going to make a turn again once I get down. It was mostly flat farmland, but well, a lot of farmland, but obviously it's not flat, it's hilly. I think I'll be safe at 3,000 feet. I mean, I don't know, look at that. It was, that's pretty high. When I'm only at 3,200 feet. This way, um, ideally, I would probably want to pull this up, but I, I still need to try to get used to how to get this really quick. Uh, let's see what the airport is. This NZTA. Let's let's try to do it really quick. Right. Okay. 
let me see, um, yeah, four, let me see, oh, okay, yeah, well, ten, okay, there's runway ten, and that's what I was looking for. Alright, so yeah, that, that's what I'm looking for, so anyway, um, Yeah, so I can kind of start my turn right now. I can probably always have to do this. And I'm looking. Oh, wait. Is this the airfield? It could be. So, no, it should be dead ahead according to what I'm Let's get these landing lights on. It's not, it's getting awfully dark too. Cabin lights, let's get some landing lights on. Alright, um, let's go down to about 2,000 maybe, 2,500. I mean, I should be seeing it really soon. We're really getting close. Right in front of me. You can see the sun and everything makes it look really good. This up some. No, I'm not going to skip um, Alright, let me, um, let me go ahead and get down a little bit more. Let's go 2200. I don't have a visual on the runway yet. So it's starting to get, um, A little concerned here because I really don't want to come out over the oh wait 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 what do we have here wait is this in here I mean am I not oh no no that, that ain't it that sure does look like it could pass far one way right doesn't it maybe yeah that, no I don't know Uh, uh, my best um, guess is it's right here, you know? I'm supposed to be a pilot. I shouldn't be able to guess stuff. Like, oh, like, where's the runway? I mean, just don't let the passengers hear that. All right, let me see. Um, let me go ahead and start turning. I I'm, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, wait, nobody... I mean, I'm headed to more, right towards it. So, and I see nothing else that looks like it could be a runway like that. Nothing else, nothing else. I mean, where's it going to be? Mountains, you know? So let's go ahead and drop off the autopilot now because I think that is safe to say that that's it. Let's come back on the uh, RPM some. Drop in some flaps, 50%. Man, the glare is killing me here. Damn. It's sure not showing the scene right here is what I'm looking at. That's not no runway. That is not a runway. Is, is it glass? Glass field? I think we're looking for a grass field. Unfortunately, I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, we better get these flops up. I mean, I don't want to go down right here in these wetlands. Um, let's get this plane back up. Down below, too low. I'm going to do a flyover first and I'm going to take a look. Let's increase our mixture a little bit. Get a picture up there, so man, th this is not an easy runway to locate here. Oh, what is that? Is that like a, a tower? Okay, look right here. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, let's do a flyover and let's let's scope this out first because I'm having trouble, man. Oh, 
Alright, I'm, I'm okay now though. Let's see. Let's go back. Alright, we have a visual, and yes, this is the runway. No wonder why I could not find it. Look at that, man. Is that right? It sure is. That's the freaking runway. This gave it away here. Is that a plane? I don't know what that is. Or like a little tower or something? Yeah, that's the runway. It's still gonna be hard, even even though I see it there. I mean, that, that doesn't look like the best place to be landing this plane. I'll tell you. Talk about a challenge. You want a challenge? Oh, you, there you go. There you have it. And I'm coming in here late in the evening. Watch that speed and the altitude. But watch everything at this point. Sun coming in that base. Looks like these actually do work. Yep, <laughs> they do work. All right, let me come around. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have this much trouble with this ability. This ability. Yeah. And I'm not going to have a lot of room to land, so yeah. Dropping in a notch of flaps right now. Let's hope I still can. Oh, I think so. Okay. The wear is not flashing. Too close. Uh, might be. Got to go around. Look, we'll go around. Okay, so. Yeah, I think it's looking like that. Yeah, we gotta go around. Flaps are coming up. Out of time, there's the airfield, that's the runway. Oh, oh, right here. Right here. It's enough room to land, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I got plenty of room to kind of start coming down up there, so I need to get these visual views right here. This is all VFR. There's no, you know, ILS or nothing on this airport. It's just grass. But there's also no running lights. All I got is that little flashing beacon. Let's make sure we get out far enough. Let's get our speed to move to. I'll be coming in at 140.
go a little bit high, but not too high, but high enough. All right, we got it. I don't think we got it. Let's just watch our speed. Come back and speed all the way. I think I'm still too high. I'm still too high. Let's pull this back. Oh, no, we are all right. Maybe we are right. It's, it's okay. It comes in kind of slow once you get it adjusted. Oh man, I killed my engine. I pulled that prop too, back too far. But look, okay, I'm all right with that. We just got one engine on. It doesn't like when you pull that RPM back too far. That one engine going, I'm gonna bother starting the other one jet. I prefer to have just that uh, rear engine, but I'm gonna be turning to the left, so it's okay. It's just dragging a little bit because you got grass here, you know. Pull the flaps up. We'll track those. And we'll get the plane shut down. Alright, um let's go ahead and get these cut off here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and let's get the doors open, all of the doors. And um, I'll get the electrics and everything shut off. I had this on, all of this was on, the duration of the flight. And, um, let's get this off here. Give me eyes. Alright, everything is off. The plane is parked. Doors are open. I'm going to flashlight on because, yeah, it's getting a little dark out here. Alright, so here we arrived, um, at this little airfield. This was like um, a lighthouse for an airport, and it really uh, helped me out. I don't know if I could have done it without that little light. Airport lighthouse. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, not a bad flight. I mean, just the landing, I probably sh should have done a little better at planning on... Um, where this airfield here, you know, where it was, and I need to do that, period, with not just this plane, with all the other, all the planes, you know, I need to start doing better with knowing, you know, my surroundings at the destination I'm flying into, you know, like, I didn't even know this was a grass field, you know, so I just, you know, oh, what the hell, I'll go there, you know, but I, it, I knew it was long enough, but I didn't. I guess I must have missed the whole fact that it was being a grass field, you know. Yeah, I must have missed that whole fact right there. All right, so um, yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and look for some more um videos with this Trialander. You know and. I'll probably be featuring the other, the regular Islander as well too. And maybe um another plane I'm gonna snag that EMB one ten. I mean that to me <laughs> that looks like an absolute must for ten dollars, so I'm gonna grab that. Try to pick up what I can before the sale ends anyway, so it, it's worth it I think. So okay, um 
And uh, thanks for watching. So until next time, bye for now.